I heard about this organization called Icarus. On the surface, they put on a show that they are there to assist homeless people with the difficulties of getting back on their feet. It was actually a fully functioning homeless shelter and assistance organization to the public, but underneath all that, underground, there was a complex network of tunnels and bunkers that held the most terrible secrets. They started as a fairly small but determined organization, with very little government or military connection. But after getting more and more unique artifacts and specimens, the military began giving them more funding, seeking to weaponize the things they found. But there were things held in those bunkers that no human being should ever see, touch, or even be close to. They have things like ghosts, demons, ancient cursed artifacts, all kinds of things. I might sound completely batshit to you, I get it, but I'm telling you, these things exist and these people are collecting them for a reason. They have the power to destroy the world, maybe even the universe, and they're in the pocket of the US government. I can tell that you probably still don't believe me, but it's true. I actually have their object classification sheet. Well, I have half of it. They have a letter and color coding system that is constantly being updated, hence why I only have part of it. The coding system assigns a letter or combination of letters to the subject to give a vague determination of what the specimen is. X for demonic, W for angelic, A for ancient artifact, B for ancient technology, and so on and so forth. I have it all written down here. From there, they're given a color coding from green, which is no threat at all, on up to white, which is what they call a god level threat. What do you think that means? And what do you think they have in there with that classification? They also assign each subject three numbers. The first indicates their sector of origin, the Earth being divided into 23 sectors, the Moon is a 24th sector, and the rest of space is currently indicated as a 25th sector. The second number indicates what floor they're assigned to within the facility, and the third indicates the containment room number. They have this all planned out, and they're always adding additions as new categories are created when new subjects fall within a classification outside of the current understanding, new letters being added for them, until double letters are added, and then triple letters beyond that. It wasn't a perfect classification system, but it quickly gave each member of Icarus an immediate indication of what they were possibly dealing with, without revealing to citizens that they had a monster in their town, or something like that. These people are insane. Who knows what they have in there, and what they have planned. We have to do something. We have to stop them before it's too late, for all of us. The young, disheveled-looking man rambled on to the police, sitting across from him, both of the officers struggling to hold in their laughter that had been building up from hearing some of the craziest conspiracy theory bullshit that they have ever heard. But it was the next thing he pulled out that completely changed their tune. I took this from one of their investigations before they could get their hands on it. The tin cap conspiracy theorist spoke up, retrieving something from his pocket. The crazed man held up an old, bronze-colored coin between his fingers. It was stamped with an image of a devil with his tongue sticking out on one side, and the same devil looking back and showing his rear end to all who saw the coin. Heads or tails? The guy asked one of the officers. Wait, did you just admit to stealing that? The officer questioned him. 
heads or tails? The disheveled man demanded once more. Fine, I'll humor you, the officer replied with a cocky tone. Tails, the devil's ass, and you can kiss mine, the cop said, glaring at him. All right, heads, I win, and you disappear, and then the rest of us can take this place down together. Tails, you win, and you'll never see me again. Deal? The man said. Fine, we've got a deal, asshole, the officer said. The man with the crazy look in his eyes simply flipped the coin into the air and allowed it to fall upon the ground, where it landed with an almost supernatural placement. It flipped through the air as a good coin should flip, but then it landed and it did not roll. It did not spin. It did not wobble. It simply landed flatly, tails side down, the devil's face smiling maniacally with his tongue sticking out in a mocking fashion. The cocky officer was suddenly no longer laughing, and he soon gripped his core, complaining of a strange feeling. Then, suddenly, his colleague and the conspiracy theorist watched as his arms and legs began to fold inward upon themselves, wrapping up towards his torso, blood squeezing out of the folds before being sucked back inward as the officer became folded smaller and smaller, screaming all the while until his lungs and diaphragm took their turn folding into as small as a shape as possible. The man became wrapped into a cube and then, suddenly... He blinked into nothingness, folding himself into oblivion, where he finally imploded and disappeared. What the fuck? Where did he go? What'd you do to him? The remaining officer asked, before slamming the crazed man's head upon the interrogation table and holding his arms behind him to restrain him. Heads or tails? The ragged man simply asked. I told you it was real. I told you they were real. Now, heads or tails, he said with a smile, staring off into the distance, staring toward the door, as if seeing something that others could not. Heads or tails, he asked. Heads or tails. <laughs>